This was a lovely project to undertake. It's for a company called Hangman and it's for a stage set for Nero. First of all, to get the project started, we have some concept drawings, which are roughly like this, just pencil line drawings for us to base a, a quote on. Once we've got given the job, we go out and we start to buy retro televisions um, and then we take moulds from those. We bought about three or four just so we had some different styles to work from. We also had some speakers to make and they were particular sizes and we couldn't actually buy anything off the shelf which fitted. So um, here I am developing a plaster mould um, to create a sort of speaker cones and then we'll make the boxes to follow suit afterwards. Once we make a few of the speakers and the panels and the moulds, we get on with the production run of it. A lot of it is measuring and measuring again and making sure we've got it absolutely right to fit um, the framework. Here we are, once we have some fiberglass shells out, we're positioning the buttons and we're making them look more retro and adding bigger type faces. Also, we're creating voids within the, um, the kind of amplifiers and there's going to be little windows put in the spaces. Once we have all the individual panels made up, we fit them within the aluminium frame and then we join them together and make them as one single unit. It's important we do this so we can see the whole outcome of the job. Here I am working on the project for Hangman and Sam Booker has come down and had a look at it so far. Um, just to check things over and we're like measurement wise and we seem to be very pleased. Um, the time now is half past 12, I've gone midnight so I'm working here on my own just trying to catch up to make sure that everything's going as well as it should be. We've made all the individual units and we've collated them together and we've stacked them onto uh, Sam Booker's um, is it aluminium framework. It all splits through this section here so the crew can then take them down into two modules put them face to face and then transport them. Get to site, stack them up again and lock them together. In here, we're having glass. Up here, we've made a vac form tool, which has a bubble area which uh, makes it look more retro. Um, it's all made out of class O like, rated resin, black, and it's gonna be finished in black silk. Um, in these areas, they're going to be cut out and there's going to be some light source coming through, so it makes it look as, as if all these um, amplifiers have come alive. Now we've co copied some sort of images from here, and that's kind of what it's going to look like, and that's what we've based it on. So, all in all, it's getting there, and it's looking quite nice. So, um, hope Sam is pleased with it at the end of the day. Um, I think it's coming together nicely, and I'll show you some pictures at the very end. It is essential to have a good crew of people around you while building something like this as we've all got our individual tasks. Um, here you can see us unstacking the aluminium frame um, as it comes together or apart in four pieces and including the central piece which is the, um, the games console which makes up the fifth area. Um, but yeah, it's working really really well and thank you very much to my crew. Here we have an opportunity to meet some of the crew. Once the whole set is together and we've sanded it down, we've primed it and we're adding a kind of a semi-sheen black finish to it. And that's before we add any of the glass and the little windows. Looking quite smart at the moment. We also finish off the back of it very well because everyone gets to touch it and they may be in the dark when they're handling things so we make sure it's all sanded and there's no what we call weenies and you don't get any um, sharp spots in your hand. We made a separate vac form panel of each of the retro television screens and here we are just polishing them before we put them in. And here we have a quick rundown of the process. Design drawings to quote from. We purchased some retro televisions to take moulds from. 
and get general measurements. Then we work up or hangman work up some drawings and send them to us. And then some accurate detailed drawings done on the computer. We make patterns, we make molds, and then we start to position them all together as one unit. We work to drawings and CAD designs, put together the unit, we artwork it, and we spray them, sand them down, we make sure they're absolutely perfect for the client. Here we have the concept brought into reality. Here's the real set there in fiberglass, full scale. Ah, and here we are with the actual set on stage in front of Nero. Um, and this is um, a constant reminder of why I'm actually in the job. It's not just about the money. And it's kind of like getting paid twice in a way. So thank you very much, Sam Booker from Hangman, uh, for entrusting Sculpture Studios with the work.